Uh, could I invite Joanna Norris from Christchurch NZ? Good morning. Kia ora, good morning. Atamarie. Thank you for the opportunity to be here to speak to our LTP submission. I have with me Robin Andrews, who is our GM of Corporate Services for Christchurch NZ. Um, I want to start by saying that, like all of you, we are committed to a vision of Christchurch as a city of opportunity where we all explore our lives with impact. But to achieve this, all of us in this room need to be courageous. We need to make decisions that make Christchurch not only resilient, strong and complete, but also exciting, vibrant and socially cohesive. If we all in this room are to achieve our ambitions for this region, we simply must attract more people and uh, our agency has uh, part of the responsibility for that. As you all know, over the past six years, investment has flowed from the private sector and local and central government to rebuild our city. At its simplest, we now have an incredible new city. We have new retail space, acres of office space, a beautiful retail precinct, and hundreds of new cafes and restaurants, in fact, more than we had pre-Quake. We need people to fill those. So without a significant increase in demand, the continued regeneration of our city could easily stall and we must front up to that reality. We would be left with a partially complete central city, empty buildings and falling property yields. Closing this gap requires new economic activity into the city, more visitors, more population and new business investment. And relying on, on existing economic growth, as we know, is simply not sufficient. It will not close the gap. As you are all aware, Christchurch NZ has requested an additional 1.4 million uh, through the LTP to support activity to support closing this gap. Those funds would allow us to support international education, attract and bid for major events in uh, conjunction with VBase, to establish a film office to capture a share of the national film industry. I want to speak briefly to the impact of major events. Um, the, the benefit is clear and demonstrated. They bring social benefit, social cohesion, and also clear and demonstrated economic benefit. For every council dollar that you spend, you will receive tens of thousands of dollars in economic and social benefit. And other cities get this. They are aggressive in bidding for events on behalf of their communities. Uh, I don't need to remind any of us in this room of the massive economic benefit that Ed Sheeran has brought to Dunedin to show just how successful this could be. Those three concerts that uh, were held over Easter weekend attracted 68,000 people into Dunedin at, with an estimated economic benefit of $34 million. One third of those tickets were sold here in Christchurch. That was money that was sucked out of our community and spent in another city over Easter weekend. <clears throat> and uh, at its simplest, Dunedin was successful in obtaining those events because it successfully bid for them and they outbid Christchurch. Uh, the All Blacks are playing in Nelson for the same reason. Nelson was able to provide a guaranteed financial return to New Zealand rugby in a way that Christchurch was not. We simply could not compete. Over the past few years, VBase has bid for uh, a great many events and missed out on those, and VBase estimates that's worth uh, a lost $100 million to the city. So continued underinvestment in this area will disadvantage Christchurch and it will diminish our ambition to be vibrant, attractive to residents and attractive to visitors. We are growing at Christchurch as need our capability to attract sponsorship funding. That's an important part of our model going forward. But the seed fund that we've bid for through the LTP is important to kickstarting that process. I want to turn quickly to the business events aspect of our uh, funding application. We've bid for 300,000 to support a major business event. I'm thrilled to be able to let you know that we have successfully bid for Trends in 2020, which is a wonderful opportunity for us to showcase the region to a global audience. I was down in Dunedin earlier this week, which has uh, successfully bid for this year's event, and the benefit of the hundreds of international buyers and the global stage that's, that's putting on Dunedin was clear and evident uh, down in that city. We need to realise that same ambition. Uh, international education, we have bid for 60000 for international education. We estimate that for every dollar that you spend on international education, there is a $23 return. Uh, and again, that's flow-on economic benefit for the region. 
When Christchurch NZ was formed, this council directed us to undertake international education uh, activity. You did not fund us to do that. We've been funding that from our reserves and those are now exhausted. We will not be able to support international education um, at current levels without this additional funding bid. Uh, so for a small investment there, you can have a big impact. And finally, the film office. Our funding request includes $150,000 to establish a film office. Excuse me, and that would help Christchurch share a large, to gain a larger share of a $3.2 billion film economy. And to put that into context, Christchurch currently gets just 1% of that, 1% of a $3.2 billion industry, and the South Island only 3%. Again, we have a chance with a very small investment to make big impact. So to conclude and to support our written submission, if Christchurch NZ is not successful in its application, we will be unable to compete with other regions for major events, we will not be able to support the film industry, and we will not be able to promote international education. We will lose an opportunity that you have on the table for social cohesion and economic benefit. We are, I believe, at a crossroads as, at a city. We can set a low bar. We can set a conservative position or we can follow a bold and ambitious path and realise the benefit that the post crate rebuild has created for all of us. But to do this, we need to be committed to a path of vibrancy, energy and growth. We need to retain our brightest young people. We need to create social cohesion by bringing people together and attracting interest from around the world. Let's not leave courage, vision and positivity to other cities. Let's live, live the legacy of the city of e explorers and city makers who have gone before us, and let's truly create Christchurch as an opportunity, as a city of opportunity for all. I urge you today to invest wisely. I understand that you have a great many competing priorities. The uh, investment that we are asking you to make is important for the well-being of our city. Invest in growth, invest in our people, invest in our city, and allow us to succeed on your behalf. Thank you. Look, I would like to start off by um, congratulating you on winning the 2020 bid for trends. That's huge for Christchurch. Um, and I mean, obviously, with the convention centre uh, confirmed for that time, it's, uh, it's going to be really showcasing something new and spectacular. Um, I think 2021 is going to be a pretty major year for us as well for a number of reasons. So, so congratulations on that. Um, and second, I'm going to take personal responsibility for the international education. It was absolutely a no-brainer for me that international education had to be in your brief. Um, but of course I didn't understand the nature of the relationship between Christchurch Educated and uh, Education New Zealand. So uh, it is something that we do need to take on board. So thank you very much for uh, your submission. I'll start with Dion. Just a very quick question. Uh, is our city ready? For what? <laughs> for what you're proposing. Like for Abs all the major events, all the stuff, are we ready? No, I think now. it's a great question, um, Councillor Swiggs. We absolutely are ready to recover, and uh, the part of the funding application that we're making is to support that recovery. So we we have the space. Um, we have activated our central city, and we now need to make sure there's people within it. Um, Sarah. Thank you. Um, probably just a follow-on from that. We've had some submitters um, say specifically on the um, attracting major events portion of the funding, which is the majority of it, that potentially we could leave that parcel of funding for a couple of years until a closer time to when the stadium might be ready, um, in that we don't have the venues potentially available right now to be able to um, cope with that level of funding. Yeah, so the, um, the nature of uh, major events and business event bidding is it happens several years in advance, so um, we're bidding now for 2020, 2021, um, so no, it, it's not an option to leave it, um, but as I say, as our capability around sponsorship and commercial revenue grows, and that's a deliberate part of our strategy, we intend to offset the investment by the ratepayer. Jamie? That was exactly my question, so I'm fine. <laughs> Very good. Mike? Thank you. Um, so your request is for the additional money uh, for the next financial year. Is that the only additional money you need for that long-term plan duration? Uh, no, our request is um, ev every year, obviously, um, but we would like to um, uh, have the capacity to modify our request as time goes on and our capacity for commercial revenue Okay, goes. so it's $1.4 million every year for the next 10 years. That's your request? Correct, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, Jimmy? 
you particularly mentioned that's really a good news regarding to the trends will be held in Christchurch 2020. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. My understanding at the moment, I think in Dunedin, this here. But regarding the funding allocation, those, the, you know, in 2020, we will have this one. The category is put on the, to the A90K. That category is a major event of put on the 300K in the business event and convention. Which, 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 which part? Uh, the regarding the trends? trends would be funded from the $300,000 application under business events. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Well, look, that time's up, so thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you.